Alright, hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 2, The Thousand Year Door. And in the last episode, we, um, not episode, the last part, we cleared up chapter 2. And in this part, we are going to outside the place. Again, more awesome music. And whoa, what happened to my camera there? There we go. Beautiful shot. Okay, let's head down this pipe. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, it's the Mario World music again. Oh, I see what the problem is. Ugh. Sorry about this. I had to switch that around so it wouldn't knock my, my uh, camera stand. Oh, mercy me, sounds like a male. You got mail. Sorry, I just really love Super Mario World. Although that game was my childhood. That in the original Donkey Kong Country trilogy. That in the original Donkey Kong Country trilogy. But yeah, dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email you again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you lately. I dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll send I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Francis Beach. Aw, cute. Isn't that isn't that just precious, Mario? That was kind of adorable. That's what I always love about the Mario series, is that they have this kind of like adorable ish kind of vibe. And oh god. No, I never fight that thing. Whatever. It's just those two. That thing was power smashing to death. Yeah, alright. Sorry for five fairy. It's just some. Can I make sure this isn't too quiet? Because I want you guys to be able to hear the music in this game. I think it sounds it's fine. But let's do a power shell. And boom! I almost said headshot, but I didn't really think it was a headshot. Or is the black? Is, it, is that a headshot? I don't know. Um. Yeah, let's just head back to the thousand year door again. And what? Oh, I thought I could guard against that. Oh well. Hmm. I'm tempted to show off the clock out. Nah. I'll show that at a different time. Okay, and let's get you. The plant's running out of HP. Fiend machine mode! And oh, I didn't think it was actually gonna kill the one hit. Holy crap, I didn't actually time for that to happen. And I'm okay, wow. Dying, dying, dying. Kill you. And kapow! Alright, Koops, you finish off that dude. <clears throat> and I'll kill off that cleft door. I'm not finish the cleft door. Oh, I swung too early. Oh, it's like a guard that I guess. So. Will the shell shock actually kill it? Oh, wow, it did. I didn't even think that to happen. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to get a hang of this game. Now I'm starting to get more into it. I better get used to it, because I haven't died yet once in this game, and I don't plan on dying. Because I usually die at the point in Chapter 2, but I haven't missed this time around. Alright, let's go through here. There's a safe block. The eye I just started, so I'm not going to really sit, use the safe block. Go down the pipe. Mario, go down the pipe. We got here. Do -do -do. Wait, did I forget something here? I can't remember if I did or not. Okay, I already got that. Wow. Because something I think I should know is that I do not have a good memory. Because uh, it's part of my disability. I, I do not have a good memory. I'm pretty much worse than Dory. Screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. I'm not fighting nothing. thing of pointless to fight at this point. Uh, how do you s oh, that's right. I do have to go here. So I'm, I'm still used to the Super Mario 64. You know, that game was like... Oh, 
God, I hate these stupid things. Okay, die. Wow, I just killed you with just one jump. And you die. Oh, two damage, what? Oh, I guarded against it, nice. Powered up you again. Okay. Another chest in here, which should probably grab it. Oh, and they're up. No, don't jump on the chest. <clears throat> Happy heart partner. Uh, should I equip that or not? I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, I love the Peppy Heart ability because it's kind of useful to be able to. Oh, what? Wait, what am I doing? I'm gonna use that. Oh, I don't have that one ability. Okay, I'm thinking about a later part in the game. Duh. Wow. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. I still think it's interesting knowing that the same dude voice as Mario is also the same voice actor for Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi. I think it's kind of impressive that the dude was the voice actor for all those guys because they all sound totally different. But yeah, like I said, the Thousand Year Door again. I'm gonna stay quiet during these things when they open the door. And I'm gonna let Flurry do when I open the door. Now I'm going to Mario. It's Crystal Star time. Now how does she know what Crystal Star or maybe Koops and Goobella told her while they were while you were traveling with her on the way back here. I mean they explained it to her, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not a Shakira Miyamoto. Right with me. Oh, I'm done this recording. I'll find my one black tooth building because I agree. My teeth are bad. I need, I needed to go to the dentist. For all those counting saying I need to go to the dentist, I guess I totally agree. I'm just like, because you know, I want to keep my teeth clean. I need, uh, yeah, you know. And now, talking about my teeth, my dental work for now because that's supposed to be happening just between me. <laughs> Okay, I got the location of the Crystal Star. It's been recorded on your magical map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map! God, I hate that show so much. Oh, mercy me. The next Crystal Star has made, it, made an entrance. My, my, my. But correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up in the sky? How, what does that mean? You look like a cloud. She kind of looks like she's a cloud, actually. I don't realize that. She does kind of look like she's a cloud. That means beneath this town, the thousand year do door, thousand year old ruins remain intact. And that door has been sealed shut for thousands of years by the crystal star. In order to open that seal, we have we must we have to master the power of all crystal stars. Right about this draft, but but what would they want to steal this treasure anyway at all? Yeah. Did they fear that thieves would break? What the heck kind of word is that? I don't know. If not, then what? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna skip that line. No, that's not. Hmm. That's not what. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I love this game and its sense of humor. Frankly, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know the treasure was sealed away. At Around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All, all that is written is <laughs> this darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research more, seeming we'll just make in a uh, well, you know, the saying. Oh, yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of the crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the town of Glitzville. There's a stunning area where there were great warriors engaged in furious battles. Honesty. Oh, Stanley family. Whatever that word is, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights. But behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bat on the bounce. A floating city, you say. 
So are you... So are we just supposed to sprat wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. Actually, maybe you could fly there. I mean, you're flying right now. Maybe I can use you to fly me up there or something like that. A special blip flies there. It departs from Rockport several times a day. The problem getting a seat is that... You see, the only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Ooh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much of choice. Have much choice. Word on the street is tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head head west from Rockport's main plaza, and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta. The Pianta Sintite head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jounts over to Goodsville. Hmm, I, I like the sound of this Don Pianta. Follow, I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don, T and Don Pianta is a reckless, just getting an audience with him will be difficult. I'll get an answer from Sonic, because I'm a, it's a me, because I'm a Mario! Woohoo! I also thought this is kind of cool, though, if you look at the, um, catalog here. This is actually where you keep all the enemies and entries and stuff. I thought this was kind of cool, and considering I've been, uh, that's what I'm trying to do, trying to fill this whole freaking paddle thing out. It's a mini side quest, but you can do it. But, alright. All that said, I think I'm also gonna power up one of my party members. Yeah, I think I should probably do that. Which one am I gonna go for? I'll see Flora because she's brand new. Shazubi! Shazubi! Good spark. Woo! Good spray. <clears throat> and I ripped on camera, that's nice. Then you may go. Okay, got her power up. We have the same amount of HP, that's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, so we got to go talk to Don Pianta. Uh, when I first played this game, I could not figure this part out, actually, believe it or not, in this Luigi with a, with a blooper. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny knowing those uh, little squid-like enemies in Mario are called bloopers. Also, this dude will be kind of later on. Blah, blah, blah. And you can see why I saw that Toad Lady side quest, because we need to come here. So that it is actually, you are supposed to do that. Yeah, let's talk to Don Pianta. Also, the Pianta Parlor. This is what the Parlor looks like. Also, that's a hilarious... And wow, it's a Game Boy Color, a giant Game Boy Color. And whoa, what is with the... Booze, holy crap. And there's the Goomba wearing Link's hat. I thought that was so funny. Like, I didn't notice a lot of Nintendo games reference each other. I just noticed that. Okay, let's go through here. And I believe we want to buy... I think I believe it was a Dizzy Dial. And I believe a Dry Shroom. Mm, I think that was it. Or was it the... Was it the drive room first, and then the dizzy dial? Oh wait, I gotta sell some stuff here. But I do not- Because we wanted to done this part. What am I going to sell? Let's see here. Well, I'm definitely gonna sell that drive shroom. I'm gonna sell both- I'm gonna sell both drive shrooms. Now that's pretty much it. Let's try this again. I think it was a dizzy dial. And then believe a shroom. Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna sell a dizzy dial. I'm gonna sell both, all three dizzy dials, because I can do this. I'm, I, I think maybe this is a... Or was it the Thunderbolt? Or was it, um... God, what was it? I think it was for- I know the dry stream is supposed to be the last, so let me try the Thunderbolt. Oh, I remember. Oh, come on, lady! Oh, 
Okay, always sell the dry shroom. I don't want not any of that stupid mushroom. I'll sell both dizzy dials. I don't need another dizzy dial. Okay, I think it was first by the vault room. And I think you're supposed to buy the... Oh, I think I got it. Okay. No. Okay, the dry shroom. Okay, now it'll just burn. We sell that. Because I'm going to buy another one anyway. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry this is part to get a little long. So one more thing. Okay, so buy it. I believe it was Voltrum, the Dizzy Dion, and I believe the last thing is the. Oh come on! How did that not work? Ah. Uh. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to cut ahead of me figuring this out because I, I swear. Because I swear. Okay, I'm gonna cut ahead of me figuring this out. Okay, let's try this again. We're hosting this water dizzy dial. And I believe a dry charm. No, that doesn't work. Oh, it's a dizzy dial. I think it's different each time. I think that's what it is. Okay, apparently I got this wrong. Oh, I see. I did. Uh, see, I did what it wrong. Okay, buy a drive stream first, then the dizzy dial. There we go. Holy crap! I had to look that up. Oh my god. Wow, I feel so stupid. You think it up? You need to split sugar. Wait, ice shroom. Wait, I got it wrong. Oh! Yes, it is different each time. I swear to God, I thought that was it. Oh! All right, I guess I have to do it this way. Or should I hate to do it this way? How much coins do I have anyway? Uh, 193, okay. Maybe I could just donate some coins to this. Dude. Hey, hey, you're Mario! Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd actually need a celebrity out here. Ooh, I know. Do you make an want to make an investment? The name is Lumpy, and I'm heading out to the dry dry desert to text for oil. I love. All I need some cash. How much did you take anyway? Yeah, he took a hundred, so I have ninety-three coins left. All right. I don't know. You want? I'll come back to talk to that guy later on, because thing I later on again, he gives a lot more money, which will allow me to buy a badge that I wanted to get. Oh, hey, Luigi, and the squid thing. God, I can't believe this. I literally now. <laughs> Go to the, do this stupid side quest that's gonna cost me so much money. Oh well. Okay. Talk to this dude. You want something to jump? This is the far end of the Robo Thief. You lost what business been and chum like you to play like this. This is a vacation. What? So you want to meet the lion cheat and steal a no good jerk for brains, Don Pianta? Be a thief like us and end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know the scumbag demands protecting money from us too? Yeah. You know all that, and you still want uh, us to tell you how you can meet that tr that crump? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. Okay, I'll pay. 
You'll pay really? Yeah, you heard me. Yes, I mean, good call. You're a, sh you're a sharp businessman. If you pour coins on the nose. Okay, and then clear no then clean those ears out and listen here. There's a par there's a parlor in the west part of town that's run by the warm by that warm Don Pianta. Go to the store next to the parlor, buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dry shroom, dizzy dial. You got that? You did that, and the shopkeeper's gonna ask you what your favorite color is. You answer yellow, okay, blah blah blah. Yes, I understand. Dry shroom, dizzy dial. Wait, I did that! I did that! Oh my. You guys saw me do that! <sighs> Let's just go back there. Because I really do hate this. Because I will say this is getting kind of annoying now. I mean, I, this game, I, mean, I, I love this game. It's like one of my favorite games of all time, but man, was. Man, that is just like really annoying. Well, it's not totally bad, though. I got an ice shroom out of it. I got an ice shroom out of it, I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know, buy a mushroom here or something like that. It's good. They have good mushrooms. Yeah, they do actually have good mushrooms. Yeah, I might buy a mushroom here. Okay, so dry shroom. And then a dizzy dial. Yellow. Um. What? To the dizzy dial again, and I'm gonna sell the dry shroom. No, stop talking to her. No, stop. Again, dry shroom. Dizzy dial. Wait, no, not green! No! Why am I sucking so bad at this part? Oh, God. Why am I sucking so bad? No, oh, stop! God dang, why am I sucking? Okay, oh, uh, here we go. What are we What's the color of your mustache? Oh! Uh, black. Okay, color yellow. There! God! Oh, I'm terrible at this part. I'm gonna, I apologize. <laughs> and wow, that took me like over six minutes just to get this part. Okay, wow. I swear, that bow makes it look like she's wearing a. I don't think she's wearing a bra or something. That's such a weirdly, de weirdly designed Goomba. I'm not here to buy. I'm here to sell. I'm gonna sell it. These two are definitely for sure. And I'm just gonna try it, Cheryl. Um, am I gonna sell that? No, nah. I'm good with my items. Yeah, I'll be fine with my items for now, at least. I'll just have to connect to the store though, because you know, they are selling some pretty good stuff. I have to just check and make sure. What's with you, guy? What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you gotta be spit out and quick, and get, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me, you want a, you want me to give you a ticket to the blimp? See now, to me that's funny. You stand-up comedian, no, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I'm making crying babies weep. You want? You want I should run this bum out of the rail, boss? Look at him, what a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You you just looking for trouble, or what? Not so fast, boys. I like the kid. This kid's grump. 
repetition. He just like to come and talk. No, that ain't a crime. So we can talk. You boys wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I got a Sydney guy in who wanted a ticket for the blimp. Out with, out with it. What's that? You want to help me help some bride? What got herself kidnapped? Oh, and to rescue this damn you are collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars, he fast. Ain't those things that legend but the ancient treasure? Fireman, you're such a dope. Hey, boss, this knucklehead be using fairy tales. Bite your tongue, don't listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I'll tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt from her he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor and I'll get you the blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. It, it, it's nothing less. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished. But it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie and bring them down both down. If you aren't able to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. And then I shall settle this matter quickly. And with that is just known as extreme prejudice. Prejudice, what prejudice, whatever. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You, you can't really rely on some goofball to do this for this job. Yeah, boss, Vimini's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's because of you lags can't find her that I got, I got to swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes, dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it is settled. Yeah, by my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Okay. I'm getting threatened by one of the freaking Pianta people. Yeah, you guys know. If you play Mario Sunshine, you would know what the Piantas are. They're from Mario Sunshine. I love that game. I've never actually completed that game. I'm still playing 100% Mario Sunshine, believe it or not. I really like the little roller coaster levels in that game. Okay, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. We should be at the docks. <laughs> She should be down. They should be down here. Hey, back off, you creep! You just want something, or you just like sidling up to people? Oh. What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him, Frankie. What should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do if we, if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we, do, if we can't just talk calm like with the boss, if we can't just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, stop eating your girl around your food. They already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can't, Frankie. The more you could, you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you par I beg you to pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Of course. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're, you're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. Also, I'm gonna put 
I think I'm gonna equip uh, Koopa, Ko Koops, whatever his name is, into my party. I guess we should probably head back to the, the dude. Um, what should we do? I mean, I guess we should tell Don Fianta something, but I... Why don't our left turn terrible, whatever that means. I agree. I don't want my luck to turn out terrible. I guess I better tell him. Again, the Goomba looks like he's wearing Link's hat from Legend of Zelda. Yeah, let's uh, go through this door here. I guess I better tell the boss. He's not my boss, though. Wow. Ooh, ooh, wow. Ooh. Oh, look who came back. The per the per ball mustache. You gotta brighten my mood. So give, what do you got? You know what the whereabouts of do of those two of these two were anyways? Sure do. And I'll tell you. Oh, is that true, Fag? Run for an hour, eh? Well done, I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, you two Nimrods! The kids are at the harbor! Now go get them! Daddy, why? What, what are you, Ariel from Little Mermaid? Francesca! Boss! Forgive me, boss! I, I'm, I'm sorry! I truly am! Frankie, so you... Back you come! Head hung low and with... And with your tail between your legs! No, Daddy. And I burped. Don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should... <laughs> you love, it was me. I gotta stop burping. Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive you. You gotta forgive her. You gotta forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No boss, it's all me, it's all, it's not as long as it's really all to blame right here. Daddy. Boss. Yeah. And not quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used, you used up your last favor a long time ago. And you, Frankie. You are like the son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such a disappointment in you two. It's like a, pa a poison shroom in my gut. Poison shroom in my gut. There's a lot of puns in this game. Daddy! Boss! I don't even want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you! I don't care where you were. Just go! That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go! Do what you want, even if it means getting married! Oh, Daddy. Dad, I, no way, I mean, boss! <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want, she want for nothing. Enough, alright, just go. Go! Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell and thank you. Aw, oh, he was actually nice the whole time. You still here? Hmm. <laughs> well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turn out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp tickets, like I said. Yeah, I got a, I got a blimp ticket. Who knew it? The guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you would do the right, you do the right man for the job. Thanks, bunch, Pally. But I want, I didn't want, but I don't want to see that gloomy, gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Okay, wow. That was Don Pianta. He was very cheesy as a bo crime boss or whatever. Yeah, I got the blimp tickets so we can head to one of the best shatters in the game. We did it. Well, we did, wow, we did it, Marvin. He got a good spell. 
No, I'm gonna my second favorite chapter. It's not my favorite chapter, but it's my second favorite. An email from where did I get an email from? Creepy actually like Mario Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a mustache like this could be used to send mess a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology. Wow. I'm doing great, drinking fresh spring water, picking flower, polishing my shell. The town seemed so boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you you'll like Pedalbury more than you used to once you get back from your your adventure, Coops. So where are you headed next? I want to see see the wide the whole wide world, son. Son, it'll be great for you. Don't go too far past that front door. Ah, from Coopley, his dad. Look at his dad. He got, got a beard. It's the hot to be surviving in the dragon's stomach anyway. That's kind of isn't that physically impossible to live in some dude's stomach? Oh well, let's head to the blimp for chapter three. My second favorite chapter. The blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on your flight today? Yes. Ah, uh, please allow me to check your boarding passes. Then pass, watch your step as you step aboard. This is kind of cool, though. I love it. This is pretty sweet. Again, I really love the graphics in this game. The graphics in these Paper Mario games is just freaking amazing. I mean, the way Nintendo makes these games is just breathtaking. I mean, I painted the GameCube was when Nintendo got graphics really got good. I mean, the Wii graphics I thought were pretty good, even though on full HD, I thought they were pretty good. GameCube had really amazing graphics. And the Wii U's graphics are just freaking amazing. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory! This is my second favorite chapter. I won't tell, I won't, I won't tell you what my favorite chapter is until we get to that point, but this is my second favorite one. But yeah, Chapter 3 is freaking awesome. Excuse me. Yeah, let's land in Glitzville. Man, Glitzville, what an amazing place. Like, seriously, look at the fl they got flashing lights, got balloons. But yeah, like I said, like I keep praising the graphics in this game, like they look really cool. Um, they look really great for GameCube when they really Top the original N64 game. Excuse me, why do I keep burping in, these, in this episode? I'm oh, sorry, this episode should be called the Burp Episode. Glitzville! Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, this should be Glitzville, alright? How they make it float. I mean, it hasn't ever, you know, plunged from the sky or anything, has it? Souvenir shop. Time to hunt down for that crystal star, huh, Mario? I know, I'm ready. But I think I'm gonna end this episode off here, just because this episode's kind of gone on for a little while, and plus we get to start chapter 3. So, yes, join me in the next episode when we, when we, decide, when we continue on with chapter 3.